What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and today we're at it again with another video. So today we're here to talk about the Convenience Concepts Soho End Table. I show these items on the channel because they pique my interest, they improve my quality of life, and I feel that you'd find them useful. Now, if you are interested in the Convenience Concepts Soho End Table, you can find a link for this product on my Amazon storefront in the description below. Today I will be unboxing the unit, assembling it, going over its uses, and giving my final thoughts. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So here we are with the packaging, and there isn't a lot of information here, but I just like to show it as a reference to my viewers. So we've got the convenience concepts table, we've got a PO item number, and then it just lets us know this is the Soho end table. Now my unit is weathered gray with glass. The unit itself weighs about 31 pounds, it's made in China, and then you've just got a UPC number there. So I opened up the box and I got a lot of the styrofoam out of the way so you can see what you're presented with. Now I'm going to lay all this out on the floor so you can get a better idea of what's included. Okay, so I've got all the contents laid out here. On the left, we're going to have our two side panels. Those are made of glass and they are pretty heavy. Now you'll see we have these black things here. These are just guards, they just slip right off. So. Don't forget to take those off. In the middle here, we're gonna have our hardware. On the bottom right here, we're gonna have our top panel. On the top right there, we're gonna have our back panel. And then in the middle, we're going to have our front panel. Now these are really nice. They have a nice texture to them and I really like the coloring. I want to pull this a little closer so you can see the detail. So again, we've got the texture there and it's got a really nice color to it. So assembly took about 30 minutes using a Phillips head screwdriver as the only tool. Now in the instructions, there is the first page and that talks about assembly with cam locks and wood dowels. I didn't need to do any of that. So I would say ignore that page unless you have those things laying around, but I didn't see any of that included. Now the instructions were a little confusing because it looks like in the images, they drew panel three as panel four in size and panel four as panel three in size. So they swapped those around, but panel four has all the holes it needs. Panel three also has the holes. The last thing to remember is make sure you remove the number stickers on the panels. I had to take mine halfway apart because I left the stickers on there. Now I assembled this all by myself. It was pretty easy to do. It may be good to have another person just to hold the pieces together. That could be a little bit awkward. So this end table is great for storing things. You can see I've got some pillows at the bottom there. On the middle shelf, I have my Oculus Quest and the controllers. On the top here, I have my Google Pixelbook Go and my Google Nest Hub Max. And then I have a smartphone right next to that. Okay, so I've got a few final thoughts on the end table. First things first, it hides the outlets and the cables nicely. Of course, I just did this quickly here today, but I couldn't make this better. The next thing is that it stores my gear nicely. Again, you can see in those videos, I've got my Oculus Quest there with the controllers on that shelf there. That looks really nice. I've got some pillows underneath that. And then I've got the hardware on the top there, the Pixelbook Go, the Google Nest Hub Max, and my Pixel charging stand with the smartphone there. Now I do look for multifunctional use in items, and this end table can also double as a little desk to get some computer work done or maybe some writing. Now, as for the Nest Hub Max camera, the height is an improvement because this unit does sit a little bit lower than the bar stool I was using, but it's still a little bit too high. And I still had to tip the Nest Hub Max forward to get a better view and angle of the floor. But it did improve my camera angle still even after all that. So every little bit counts. So wrapping things up, if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, make sure you leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, as always drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now there are three ways to support the channel. The first way is to head on over to my Amazon storefront by clicking the link in the description below. Now when it comes to the Amazon storefront, I only put items on there that I have bought or that I'm interested and buy. Also, anything that you do buy from the list does support the channel. The next way to support the channel is just by sharing this video with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way to support the channel is just by hitting that subscribe button. Now, liking and subscribing are important because that is your way to vote on whether you like the video and the channel. Liking and subscribing are also important to those who are new to the channel. If they see a lot of likes and subscribers, they'll think that people who are already watching like the videos and the channel is worth watching. So that is pretty much it. And until next time, Leon, check in out.